This is Adam reporting for Get Out There magazine. Today I'm at Ski Mont Saint Bruno for the 2013 Montreal Mud Hero. Mud Hero is a fully Canadian owned and operated obstacle race with events held in Ontario, Alberta, Quebec and Nova Scotia and a high emphasis on mud and fun. The registration fee is also significantly lower than most obstacle races. I decided to run this race two times to give you a good idea of the evolution of the conditions on the course throughout the day. My first race started at the first heat of the day at 9.30. This is normally where you'll find the more competitive racers as there are no prior starting heats to mix in with, which reduces lineups at obstacles and along the trails. But there are also plenty of first time obstacle racers in the first heat of the day as well. Mud Hero Montreal featured a total of six starting waves of 250 people which got underway every half hour. Half of those starting waves sold out and a total of 1,700 people registered for the event. The course included a six kilometer trail run with 16 obstacles scattered throughout. And Canada's premier race timing company, Sports Stats, were hired to accurately time each participant. Conditions for the 9.30 heat were optimal. Not too many participants had ran the course yet, so lineups at obstacles were at a minimum. But now that my team has arrived, it's time for round two. My second race of the day started in the 11.30 starting heat. The major difference between Mud Hero and many other obstacle races is the emphasis on fun as opposed to hardcore. The obstacles include cargo rope climbs, giant slides, and of course sloppy mud pits, as opposed to barbed wire and electricity. So if you're not a super athlete and just want to roll around in some mud, Mud Hero is for you. However, you will need some basic fitness to climb up and down those big cargo nets and cover the hilly course. My favorite obstacle of the day was definitely the mud crawl at the end, although I really liked all the walls too. For some reason, I really like climbing over walls. <laughs> My second race of the day somehow felt even muddier than the first. I have to say that all the obstacles were still in great shape and I didn't even have to deal with any lineups at obstacles in the middle of the day. After the race, all participants received this awesome Mud Hero Finishers medal and this cool Mud Hero t-shirt. Everyone had access to the post-race barbecue and party. Also, adults received a free beer from Michelob. Spectators too were not charged an entrance fee, so bonus points to Crazy Canuck events for some A-plus hospitality. This is Adam reporting for Get Out There magazine from the Montreal Mud Hero. Let us know what you thought about your Mud Hero experience in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channels to stay up to date with all our gear reviews and race reports.